a Super Bowl champion. He's old, Mike though. Did, <laughs> he's old, but he's a Super Bowl champion. Mike White did a really good job coming in when Zach Wilson went down last season. So they already had the established sort of pecking order of, of quarterbacks. So I wasn't surprised when he got cut to you know, I think, I mean, he had a phenomenal preseason, right? I think he had almost 73% completion, like five touchdowns. Led the team in behind. rushing yards. Led the team in rushing yards! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I think New York is going to be praying to get him on the practice squad, but yeah, I don't know. I'm baffled as well that they didn't want to take another look at him. I, I have a feeling he's going to end up as a backup somewhere in the NFL. I'm kind of looking at a team like Detroit or Jacksonville that doesn't have those established backups on the team. But, yeah, no, he's, he's been fantastic. And uh, he was fantastic in the preseason. And, like I said, I think the Jets now are going to be crossing their fingers for the next 48 hours, hoping that nobody claims them. But I got a funny feeling that, that he's going to be claimed. Oh, he's gone. He's so gone. It's not even funny. Yeah. Grant was saying he's got four games or something, and then he gets his full, like, I can't remember, four or six games, and then he gets his NFL pension. You have to be on the roster for four games, and then you're entitled to your pen. Yeah, it's a great story. Yeah, no, it is a great story. Um, I, I was reading something yesterday that there's a bunch of, you know, uh, Winnipeg fans and CFL fans that hope he's going to come back, but there's there's no chance. No. He's going to end up as a backup. And even if he ends up on a on a practice squad, I mean, he's going to make 150 grand just to be on a practice squad, yeah. right? It, it's uh, And you're, you don't want to give up your chance of, of trying to crack an NFL roster somewhere. No, but he looked great in the preseason, and I, I was watching um, so uh, their last preseason game when he came from behind. And, uh, you know, he's a very smart quarterback. That's what I really liked about him. He was just a lot of inside passes, took what was available to him. That's kind of what you want in a backup. You want yeah. someone that's going to come in and not try to steal the world. Well, and the funny thing about this for me is that somebody should tell the Jets that they're the Jets. <laughs> <laughs> like, they might need some magic from somebody. <laughs> somebody just step well, in and go, hey, um, you, you guys know you're the Jets, right? <laughs> Well, and I think one thing for the Jets, too, that very early in his career now, this is the second big injury that Zach Wilson has, has faced. He got hurt last season, and now he's been hurt this season. And yeah. that's not a good omen when that's supposed to be your franchise quarterback, right? So you want to have sort of some smart players behind you. But I, I think, you know, that backup role was Joe Flacco's. Unless he came out and his arm fell off, that was always going to be his role. <laughs> I thought, though, that, that uh, Straveler, that he could have beat out Mike White. That was the, the, the guy I thought he had a really good chance of beating out. All right. Well, listen, we appreciate your time. Anytime we have any questions about football, we'll probably be calling you Ray Roth um, and uh, the host of Who's Got Next Pod and the director of sports at the Dean Blundell Podcast Network. Thank you, guys. At Cruise FM, we know who keeps Edmonton moving.